So go into style.css. I'm going to give this a color of not red. For now, white. Refresh. Kind of like that. Obviously not the red in the background. We could try the blue from our nav bar. Oh, and if you're wondering, like, my sizes are different than yours. What is your... Well, I've done all these in the, uh, the heading tags. Just in case you're curious. And I have my all my heading tags set to sans serif for the family. To get rid of those serifs. Don't like no serifs. So that's why mine may be working and yours may not be, by the way. Be sure to to find some kind of styles for your heading tags if you want some custom styles there. So let's try the background to match our navbar background. There we go. That looks kind of snazzy. So for now we'll leave that. That looks good. Or not good, but it looks it looks fine. And below that, we're going to copy our loop we've already started up here. Obviously this is a new loop because we close this loop right here. We'll close the while there. So we're going to do another one right here. This one though, we don't need the category name because we're not grabbing from any specific category. We're just going to be grabbing any new game. We want two, I don't know, six, I said, I think. Yeah, two by three. <laughs> Math. Everything else can be, can be left just like that. And grab the end while so we can end the loop if we want to, we'll need to do that. That's an important step. Your loops. And inside of this, just to test it, let's grab a thumbnail. And again, once you get this stuff written, it's just like, you can just copy and paste and move on down the road. So post thumb, I believe is what we called that. Yeah, post thumb for the 200 by 125 which I can tell you right now is way too large and like not the correct ratio for this uh, for the thumbnails I want. But we'll just see. There we go. See how easy that was though? Just think of what I just did. Within five minutes, I know it's like a 15 minute video so far, but within five minutes of the of writing what we've actually been writing, I have made a new section on my website and brought in content from the newest posts I have. I only have three posts on the website right now, so that's why I was only bringing in three. When I said bring in six, eventually we'll do that whenever we set up our new custom post type so we can uh, add games and things. But until then, we know it's working, and that's a good start. So while we're in here, let's, let's guess at a size that's more suitable. Uh, I would say if we look here, see 125. That we may be able to get away with saying like 125 by 75. Now, see if I refresh here, it's going to um, actually just resize my thumbnails if I'm not mistaken. But what we should actually do is redo our thumbnails and re upload them so it can recrop them and things like that. But they should, uh, for now, work for us. There's actually a regenerate thumbnails plugin you can download and do that to allow uh, for you to run a script that will go through and recrop and resize your images according to your image sizes in functions.php so check that out if you're interested in that now what we have to do is do a little styling so inside of this we're going to actually do a div for the class of of game thumb all right and so inside of game thumb we're going to have an image so we're going to i don't know why i erased that when i'm just going to be using it again that was stupid paste that in and again uh post thumbs what i called it i believe yes refresh there we go and they're going to be stacking because divs are not in line that's good that's good and now what we can do is we can set this uh if we go into our style.css, into new games. So we're going to use this and say, what was that, game thumbs? I just named it, I already forgot. Game thumb. I'm going to tell that to float to the left, to the, to the left, refresh, there we go. 
Now that obviously does not look like what we want it to look like, but for now it works. We want this to take up 50% of the container it's inside. That way it will, these uh, thumbnails, not the images themselves, but the thumbnail with the link and the description will take up half of this space. So in style.css, we'll come here and we'll say width 50%. Beautiful. I'm making this up as I go and it's working, so that's good. <laughs> and we'll add a little margin to the bottom. For now, we we'll probably add margin around here and there, but for now, it's a little bit to the bottom of it, just so we can have a better idea of what's happening. Okay, and now, inside of this, we want the title. So let's just copy and paste. If we paste that right there, refresh, Okay, I had to grab a drink there. My throat was starting to get a little scratchy. Okay, so now what we have is the titles are at the bottom of the image. That's not good, but it's an easy fix. If we go into our style, style.css, uh, if we go to the bottom of this, we add a vertical align. What that does is it decides where the text is going to be in relation to the image it's up against. So we're gonna say top. Keep in mind, this doesn't work like centering the text in the middle of a div or something like that. That's a completely different thing that CSS doesn't handle well for some reason. But this just does it against an image. So don't get that confused. There we go, at the top. So we have to wrap our uh, title in the actual URL link. I actually just had another idea. How about we actually wrap the, uh, the, <laughs> the div in an anchor tag so the whole like the whole thumb area the whole info for the game and everything is uh, clickable and it all it just it'll just be like a nice big button to play the game but not really look like one that may seem like an odd thing to store a div inside of an anchor tag but it can be done it's just not necessarily you know pretty I'll show you it's not it's not a bad thing it's just to a, then add the href, and uh, close that off. Take this, place it below the div. Make sure we have some proper margins there. And the href for now is going to just be link. Refresh. Now what we have is actually we can hover over this whole section, including the image, the link, the description when it gets there, and it's all a clickable link. Is that cool? I think that's kind of cool. We'll do that. I like that idea. And inside of this href, we have to add the URL for the post we just brought in for all the posts. So what we're going to do is add in the, the permalink. So we're going to say PHP, the permalink. And what is that going to do for us? Well, just like the title and the post thumbnail, that's going to grab the permalink, the, the URL for the post that we just that we just brought in right there. So the whole thing will now link to the post that we just brought the information in for. Is that cool? That's cool. Refresh. And there we go. So now when we click on this, it'll take us to say post one, post 33, post 29. Notice these are in order from the oldest up to the newest. So the newest is on top. And that's a cool thing. Now this may not be the prettiest yet, but we're getting there. So we did quite a bit in this video. We've uh, achieved a semi-functioning homepage. We have the featured content slider, we have an area for an ad, we have a navigation menu, and now we're bringing in content based on certain things. We're gonna get a lot further along in the next video. That'll do it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I am Austin from awfulmedia.com and I will see you next time.